Oh man, just got tomato sauce all over my mouse. Now I need to clean it. This is what I get for attempting to mise en place. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic summer. Fantastic summer. So we're making pasta today. And this is a video I came across on Tasty and it was something that they had done with Andrew from Binging with Babish. And it's three different pasta recipes. One is five minute, a 50 minute, and a five hour pasta. So today we're gonna to test out these recipes. We're gonna see what they taste like, how difficult they are to prepare, how much I wanna make them again, <laughs> because there are some steps involved in some of these, including homemade pasta. Yes, we're making pasta today and I'm excited. And by the way, if you're new and you do enjoy the tasty recipes and you've ever been curious if they're good, I have a full playlist of different tasty test videos that we have done in the past with a whole bunch of different recipes and some of them are incredible and some of them are just I will link for you guys at the end of the video. And now let's dive into the one that is going to require the most preparation and the most time, which is clearly the five hour pasta. And what Andrew put together, I keep wanting to call him Babish. His name isn't Babish. And what Andrew put together for this five hour recipe is a Sunday gravy. It's very rich, it's very luxurious, and it has all of these incredible ingredients that meld together in a saucepan for five hours, hence the title of this recipe. And since pretty much everything is gonna be done over on the stove because we're gonna be simmering it for a long period of time, let's go over this way and switch cameras. Hey, how you doing? Whoa, very blown out here. Okay, there we go. So I have here my enameled cast iron Dutch oven, which is what he used. I have it cranked up to medium high heat, some vegetable oil, and we're going to toss that in first because we're going to be browning the meat. So we have here beef shank as well as some short ribs and we're gonna place them in so we get a nice good crust. So I'm only doing two pieces right now because I don't want to crowd the pan up. All right, meat is now browned onto the onions. We have a big batch of onions. We have some nice fond at the bottom of the pot here. And so we are gonna stick these in until they're basically translucent. And I'm also reducing the heat down to medium low because I don't want to scorch everything. Now we're gonna add in about seven cloves of garlic, as well as a pinch of red pepper flake and a teaspoon of oregano. Mix that all together. We're gonna toss in a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm gonna cook that down so it doesn't have that raw tomato taste. Now we're going to deglaze with some red wine. Basically we wanna scrape up all of that fawn to the bottom of the pot. Also 10 out of 10 recommend doing a mise en place and just kind of getting everything ready and organized because it makes it so much easier when you're actually at the stove and it's go time. All right, that's starting to cook down. I'm gonna throw in some anchovy paste. Now we are going to be putting in ladlefuls of crushed up tomatoes. This right here is four cans of uh, tomatoes and I've crushed them up a little bit just so it's a little bit smoother and we're gonna be putting most of it right into the pot Now we are gonna add in our meat Now we are going to add in the rest of the tomato sauce here on top of the meat So it's covered and about one and a half cups of water or so and then last but not least We're going to add in some pieces of carrot. This is going to add some sweetness without actually having to add sugar to your tomato sauce We're gonna fish them out later and then one stem of basil as well. And then I thought something that would add a lot of flavor and something that I actually had on hand was a rind of Parmesan. We we're gonna be adding Parmesan on top of the pasta later, so I figured adding this in will add some nice flavor. So um, in, in it goes. Get in there, basil. Add that good flavor. Now this isn't one of those sauces right here that you can just set it and forget it. No, no, this guy is work. You're gonna need to keep stirring it to make sure it doesn't like stick to the bottom and burn. You're gonna have to keep adding water if it gets too thick and too heavy and just kind of babysit it for the next five hours. So keep that in mind. We're gonna leave this guy alone for a little bit and we're gonna go on to recipe number two. And for this 50 minute pasta, we are going to be doing a fettuccine Alfredo with fresh Alfredo. And I'm very excited because I've never made fresh Alfredo before or pasta. I was I meant to say fettuccine, but actually both. I'm excited to practice. I'm excited to learn. If there's any other tips that you guys have in the process of me doing this, you let me know. I like learning. And for me, fettuccine Alfredo, it, it can either be really good or really terrible. You either have this nice, light, silky smooth sauce or you have like chunks in your pasta. 
it's gross. <laughs> well, we're actually gonna start with the pasta. So we're gonna start with um, about two cups of flour and we are going to create, as Andrew said, a, um, a mountain or a volcano or something like that. Personally, I'm a big fan of the volcano. I think that's pretty awesome. And you just kind of created this little hole in the center here. You wanna make sure it's big enough to house the eggs that we are actually going to put inside. Now for these eggs, he actually cracked them on the side of the cutting board area or surface, that whatever, and then put it directly into the volcano of flour. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I'm definitely gonna end up with eggshells right in there and that is not gonna be easy to take out. So now we are just going to stick them right into the center here. <gasps> no, 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 don't leak, don't leak, ah! Oh, it's so close. Maybe I can take some from over here and form like a wall. Ha <laughs> ha Yes! Now we need a fork for whisking. I'll do this quickly because that is not going to last. We're going to add some salt as well because salting pasta is essential. And a little splash of olive oil. He didn't add that much. Just like a little, you know, bloop. Now we are going to whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. And then slowly we're going to start incorporating some of this flour. No, don't leave me. <laughs> Talking to my flour, don't worry about it. Doesn't everyone do that? Stop, stay in there. And slowly. Okay, it's, oh no. Tried to go too quickly. It's ending up disastrous, everyone. My blockade is down. The fortress is breaking. Other metaphors. I feel like I'm hiding it from the camera, but I'm literally just trying to prevent it from <laughs> falling more. Help, Christopher. My fortress broke. Shh, no, it's gonna be fine. I just created a second wall. Oh. Huh? Yeah? See? A little, little bit of egg white going Shh, on. No, there. it's fine. Nailing it. Oh, I've never done this before, so I'm very excited. Neither have I. Really? Yeah. You make pasta all the time. What are you talking about? Yeah, pasta maker. Oh, mm -hmm. true. Like, I don't know how he did it so nicely, though. He just, like, made everything come together in this, like, nice little... Actually, you know what? I'm not doing a terrible job. No, I don't think so. Just saying, I'm crushing it. Absolutely. Don't look at this hand, but the rest of it, crushing it. I hate breading Oop. things. I hate gook. I'm a very bad chef in that way. I don't like getting my hands dirty. Oh, see, that's super fun. Yeah. No, I like this stuff. Do you like the feel of dough, though? Yeah, once it's dough, yes, I like it. Okay, but like when it's all like goopy and gross. Yeah, when my hands get coated like that. It's not even, like, this I could handle. It's just like breading chicken or breading fish or just what I just hate. Yeah. I'm gonna make it into a dough. Then I have to figure out how to turn it into fettuccine. But that's a future Rachel problem. Do do do. Oh, I'm gonna leave you to that. Okay, I'll let you know when it's dough. And he actually used a bench scraper to get the rest of the flour in and incorporate it all nicely. Oh, this would have been a great wall. Use my hand, ugh, such a rookie. That's okay. It all came together in the end. Happily ever after. This feels like a lot of flour for this dough. I guess I have to like work it a lot. The one thing he was talking about in the video is that when you're making pasta dough, you really gotta work that dough. This has been my experience also with pizza dough. I did make pizza dough once. That was the whole video on that. So I'm just gonna sit here and work this into a delicious dough. See, what I should have done is I should have put a wet towel underneath my cutting board because it keeps slipping on me. No matter, it's fine. We will forge ahead. Now after kneading this dough relentlessly, no, I'm just kidding, I use this. <laughs> Francesca came to my rescue with a dough hook. You guys notice, thumb goes in, see how it's starting to spring back? That's what we're looking for. That means that there's good gluten development in this dough. So all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this up, let it sit out here, hang out with us for a little bit, for about 30 minutes. This feels like an accomplishment. Right here, right here, I'm gonna drop it. Dun 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 dun. Dough. And for this five minute pasta, which is like technically seven minutes because you need to cook the pasta, but it's fine. It's got some garlic, lemon, tons of parsley. It feels like very, <laughs> parsley skewed, but um, we're gonna try it. And we're gonna start by putting our pasta on the stove. <laughs> I'm magical pasta wand. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna start chopping up a boatload of parsley. Like, I don't even know if this amount is gonna be enough. He wants like about half a cup of super finely minced up parsley. And I wanna get this going because he also wants some garlic on the stove with some olive oil. And I know if I leave that and go to chop up parsley, I will burn the garlic. Better to be prepared. 
Mise en place, everyone. Woo, that is some nice, fragrant parsley. Woo, love that for me. I should have like put this all into a big bunch. That was silly of me. I don't know why I didn't do that. And now we're going to head over to the stove to handle the garlic. So we have here, this is a cold pan and I'm gonna add about half a cup of olive oil to it. I'm gonna add in my garlic cloves, which have been very paper thin, kind of a slice here. So the garlic is starting to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of some red pepper flakes. So now we've strained out the pasta. Chris is helping so I can film. Putting the pasta right in. Adding a little bit of the pasta water, as well as the parsley and some lemon. Now we're going to season with salt and get ready to plate. And now we have completed pasta. I'm very excited. And I also have a carving fork. I mean, it's, it's not the one that was used by John Favreau, but still, this is part of a barbecue set. So I'm gonna use this to roll up my pasta. I won't make it fancy. So we're just going to roll it all up. Tempting not to also scrape the bottom of the pan. Christopher, do you smell this? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it all onto like <laughs> one thing. It's proving to be harder than I thought. <laughs> Whoop. Classy. Oh, it's gonna fall. No, 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 it's all, it. no, no, it. no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, eat it quickly before it falls. First of all, smells great. Second of all, it feels like a lot of parsley. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it's gonna be really good. You're very confident in Absolutely. this. Okay. Mm. So fresh, so garlicky. Can I, can I, just a little. What are you doing? Oh. I didn't put enough salt in. <laughs> it's a very pronounced parsley taste. Mm -hmm. Like very distinct. I don't know how I feel about this one. This is great. Yeah? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? I like it. It's not my favorite. I like the um, the pasta you make with the black pepper. Got you, white pepper. Mmm. That one's so good. Oh, that really yeah. strong black pepper taste. This is, it's a little heavy on the parsley for me. It is still good, like it's a good dish, and I like the, the play of the parsley with the lemon. It's very bright, but it's got a very intense taste of parsley. I don't yeah. know if I could eat a whole plate of this, you know? I think cacio e pepe is a great, like, midnight snack kind of pasta. It's easy. That's how we eat it. <laughs> exactly. This is like a pasta course for a fancy summer dinner. Okay. Right? Like you don't you don't want it to be the whole meal, but as a half plate pasta course. This is your favorite. I should just leave this for you because you're I'm enjoying it the most. And now I get to make um fettuccine alfredo, which I am stoked for. I know it's not your favorite. No. I'm going to enjoy it. it. I'll try it. I'm absolutely taking the rest of this. Yeah, well, obviously. Get in there, because I'm gonna eat all of the <laughs> fettuccine alfredo. Maybe even this guy over here too. Oh, it is with homemade pasta yeah. too, right? Yeah. All right. Pasta baker is out, and all I have to do is put this in here, and it's gonna give me beautiful pasta strands. At least I think. That's what Chris tells me. In the video, Andrew used an attachment for his stand mixer to roll out sheets and then cut them into fettuccine. Um, I don't have that, but I do have this. All right, so I'm gonna toss this in, like so. Look at her go. Bring me some pasta. Look at that dough. Look at it. Ooh. Look. Oh yeah, she going. This feels like that Play-Doh, those Play-Doh things. <laughs> Wee. Look how some of them are curly and some of them are straight. Wow. This is magical. <laughs> One, two, three. Hiya. Uh, now I can turn this into a little, a little nest. I hope this tastes good. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. We'll see. So I have some water boiling for the pasta and now we're gonna go on to the sauce. So first things first, we are going to put one cup of heavy cream into the saucepan so it reduces down to about two thirds of a cup. Heavy cream is going in. Oh, and I forgot we also need to add in two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna cook this down. It should take 12 to 15 minutes. Here is the sauce. We're gonna add another half cup of cold cream to kind of halt the cooking process and then salt and pepper and then put it to the side. Dropping in the pasta. I'm kind of scared they're not gonna break apart, but here's hoping. Oh no, guys, ignore the parsley, by the way. I was just using the same tongs, but like, 
It's not coming apart. I must have like over kneaded the dough or something. Ugh, so mad. Okay, so I salvaged what I could of the, of the pasta and quickly boiled some other pasta so we can continue with this sauce. All right, I got the pasta into the sauce here. I'm gonna add in our sad noodles. Christopher, look at those sad noodles. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm really sad about it, but okay. Now I have some Parmesan. I'm just going to, I was gonna say drizzle it on top. That's not, the parm, yeah. drizzle of Parmesan. And then a little bit of nutmeg. More? Oh yeah. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, I was really worried that I had ruined everything. Oh, and I need to salt it. That looks so good. Nice and creamy. It doesn't look congealed. Don't forget to get our chunky pasta. Oh, yeah, we'll put that on the side, special. <laughs> Ooh, mountain. And bloop. <laughs> so special, look how special that is. Very nice. Yeah. What do you want? You want our crazy pasta? Yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna okay, try, can try the crazy pasta. You know what, I would do too. Hmm. I'm gonna cut it in half. Mm. There we go, Jeez. boop. <laughs> you know what? I'm excited to try the rest. That's really good. Yeah, I think the sauce is promising. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's really nice. It needs salt. I know it needs salt, okay? <laughs> we already knew that was gonna happen. It's never gonna be my favorite pasta dish, but that's really good. That is really nice. It's very smooth. I love the nutmeg in it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, that's subtle. Salt, a little bit more nutmeg. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. That is so good. It's actually very good. I've never willingly had more than one bite of a creamy Alfredo pasta, but this is not heavy. I don't no. like a thick, gloopy, heavy crepe sauce. Like that salty, saucy, silky. I keep saying silky, but really it is. It's a smooth, silky mm, sauce. That is delicious. Love that. I'm so really excited good. about this guy. He's almost done. Almost done. Well, I think it's almost time to put the sausage in. <gasps> oh, yes! I'm gonna eat all of this. This is not yours. Enjoy. This is mine. So our sauce is almost done. It is looking so good. So I have uncooked mild Italian sausage here. We're just going to stick into the sauce and let it cook for another hour or so, and then we'll be ready. Ready to taste test. We have done some pasta almost to al dente, and then we're gonna put it back in here with the sauce. Ooh, it's all done. Took out all like the carrots and bones and whatever. And now our pasta's complete. It smells so good. We're also gonna be adding in some butter just to finish off the sauce and just add a nice richness. I do this with my own pasta sauces. I feel like everyone thinks I'm crazy. It's so good though, highly recommend. Butter makes everything better. We're gonna let this melt and then I'm gonna eat this all by myself. Hey. It smells real good. We're gonna plate. We're gonna plate properly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's oh a gosh. Sunday gravy, it deserves it. I was just gonna eat it out of this thing. <gasps> Excited. I don't think I've had sausage in like a red sauce pasta before. I make yeah. like sausage and oil, Some garlic pepper, sort of, yeah. yeah. Like it's different. This, I mean, it, it, it looks like looks it good. belongs. This looks decadent. Yeah. Are you getting pasta and meat or are you oh, eating absolutely. it separately first? No, first bite's gotta be both. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, this is gonna be boiling lava hot. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's very tomatoey. it's really good. I feel like I like your tomato sauce better. I don't know what it is though. This is so comforting. This is comfort food. This is so What, I don't cool. like comfort food? Mm. I guess not. Because we left the building and came back. I forgot something love basil. Yeah. I just got a whole fork full of basil there. It's about right. I'm not mad about it though. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Basil mm -hmm. made it worse? Mm-mm. -mm. With the basil, it's like so much better. One more thing. One more thing. Oh. I feel like some cracked pepper could help this a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How does this compare for you? I really like this. Mm -hmm. I'd never had a Sunday gravy before. Mm. This is fantastic. Where does this rank for you? Rank the three that you made today. It's hard because I really liked the fettuccine Alfredo sauce, but I was real sad about my pasta yeah, <laughs> not bad. working. I would say fettuccine Alfredo, then Sunday gravy, then the uh, aglio olio. Yeah. 
Okay. I think that would be my order. What about you? The exact reverse. Really? Yeah. yeah. It, it's so close between these two. I'm giving the edge to the parsley one because of the ease of preparation. This is better. Okay. But when you factor in... The amount of time yeah. and ingredients that went into this it. It's so fresh and bright and delicious. And, oh. That was, that was a very good pasta. It's definitely not bad. I just feel like I've had better. Pepper helped too. I, mm. I think it's a very good dish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pepper made a huge difference for me. I think so. Yeah, that, that changed it. Mm. I go above the fettuccine now. Did it? I don't know, man. It might have. I feel like that did it. Between the basil and the yeah. pepper. Small things make a big difference, man. Yeah, the pepper. That's my favorite. That made a huge difference. That's right. So I learned something from Andrew in, in rewatching the video. Oh, yeah. It's the starting with a cold pan when heating up garlic, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it's sliced that thin, because I would always just add garlic to a hot pan and burn it. You know, he had a lot of good tips and tricks throughout that I really appreciate. And he has the most like calming voice. People yes. call him the, the Bob Ross of, of cooking. You can see that. <laughs> so, Happy little pasta right here. <laughs> I'm really happy that we did this and we made these pastas today. I'm always happy when I make pasta. <laughs> Plus we have leftovers. So many leftovers for all of our parties. <laughs> for all the parties. <laughs> well, let me know if you guys have tried any of these dishes before. Yes, let her know if you've tried any of <laughs> these dishes. <laughs> or if you have any recommendations, either from Tasty or from Binging with Babish. If you guys have any recipes that you've tried, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Love you all. Mwah. Bring me back my pasta. All gone. <laughs>